I guess let's start I wanna reach the moon it seems that everything is in order seems like sound is fine for now I'm, I mean there's not much going on for now but probably the sound should be fine all right so let's get into it wait oh that's right you still have to use the um, wait did it save the controls right I'm assuming it did, okay. So yeah, it's just that in the menu you still have to use the the default controls. Oh shit, it is a continuation. Wait, so I'm a zombie now? I cannot see the moon any longer. Well, that's your fault. Why did you shoot yourself in the head? Oh, that was an enemy. Oops. Alright. So... Let's see. What? Hmm, I guess I can't go up there, so I should go here. Alright, we have save. And this seems to have quite a lot of effort put into it. Wonder if I should go here or if I should go back. Well, let's see what's up here. I mean, apparently there was something. Maybe it's gonna be a secret. Oh, huh. multiple ways. Well, I guess we can try seeing what's in here. I'm rotating shurikens. Oh shit. Oh, I need uh, that. I think I need a red apple for that. Well, I guess we can't do this yet. Well, <laughs> dying was a lot faster. Now, I really wonder why they didn't go for the whole light blue shirt. I really like the light blue shirt in the previous one. I don't know why they bring back the blue one, especially if this is supposed to happen right after that one. Ooh, we have... Is that a hedgehog? Or is that a porcupine or whatever the fuck you pronounce that shit? Hmm, damn, there are a lot of places to go to, though I'm pretty sure I can go up, so... I mean, when I say that you can go up, it didn't mean that you had to end it like that. Damn. This guy, or, well, kid, I guess, because that's the name of the character, is feeling pretty suicide a lot of the sudden. I'm kind of worried for you, bro. What's, it, what's exactly wrong with you? Is it because you saw the moon so much that you went crazy? Apparently, porcupine. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Porcupine or porcupine? It's a it's a difficult word. And again, the chances of me seeing one of those animals in real life are close to none. So you know, I don't think I will make too much use of that word anyways. There we go. Oh shit! Already going to some pretty dark place, huh? Damn, the, the rhythm of this game was not lying. It seems that the production value is pretty pretty high. They really seem to put a lot of care into this game. Pretty, pretty nice. I mean, to me, if a game allows you to configure the controls, it means that, you know, it, it, it at least gives me the hope that it's gonna be a really good... That's the pronunciation in Spanish. What will I tell you the pronunciation in English? Because you already did it before. So I wouldn't be surprised if you will do it again. You know? So porcu porcupine. 
that's how you pronounce that word weird word then again you can say that about most English words anyways it's indeed an amazing game yeah I I especially really like uh, as I said when the games allow you to change controls in game and also change the res well the resolution at least let you use full screen that's something that I really appreciate and that's the reason why I like the way Nogard makes games a lot uh, because you know he, he definitely has that as a standard though Nogard didn't seem to make that much that those many you know uh, adventure fan games most of the fan games that he has done are uh, you know something like avoidances but you know that one fun game that one adventure fun game that he did Domo is really good Porco Spin is much better <laughs> yeah it, it is it is it's a pretty good war wait why did I do that wait why would I want to go back did I fuck up I think I fucked up alright so I wonder what the trick is here and again, let's not forget that the Rhythmy say that this is a game that is oriented toward puzzles. <laughs> wow, I did not expect that. The rock killed me because of the pressure. That's a pretty interesting death. Alright, so you are supposed to take this rock out. Hmm, but I wonder what's the purpose of this. Where do you want me to jump to? Hmm... Trying to think, but... Hmm, okay, let's try to analyze the area. So, with that platform moving left and right... There doesn't seem to be anything on the ceiling. I don't see any opening. I also don't particularly see... Oh, I think I know. You're supposed to fall down. Uh, how I, how was I supposed to know that that was not a bottomless pit? Come on, bro. In these games, these things are 90% of the time bottomless pits. Alright, so that platform, the sole purpose of that is to be able to go back. Because we are supposed to pick something from here and then go all the way back. Okay, so you have to jump at the end. <laughs> Come on, Yami, yeah, you say can Gabby solve the impossible like like that was obvious. Like I was obviously supposed to go down. Come on, bro. Most of the times going down like that in games like this is a, a, a guaranteed death. Well, this seems like a pretty interesting mechanism. Pretty deadly but interesting mechanism, that's for sure. Okay, though it seems that you can follow it by walking as long as you don't fuck it up. Which is easier say than done. Damn it. A pretty interesting structure. I wonder what it's supposed to be. I mean, how do you call this? A spike roulette? I mean, what name could you even give to this mechanism here? Spike clock? Around the world made of spikes? I don't know. It's pretty unique. Though, if you just look at it, it's basically made out of three rotating spike, uh, you know, mechanisms. Oh! Oh, you have to be really fast if you want to avoid that ball at the bottom.
in. This could be a boss in itself. This could definitely be a boss in itself. Also, you know, that left me thinking. You know, uh, the... Chinese is a language that I'm getting some interest in, right? And China in general, right? It's, it's something that is making me interested. And I wonder... What if I talk to that Chinese guy that came here that according to Fangla lost his mind. Maybe I will be able to reach him if I speak Chinese. You never know. I mean, probably not, but it's worth a try, I guess. I wonder if I should completely disregard Japanese and go full speed on Chinese. Will that be a good idea? I don't know. Then again, I'm, I have barely even started with Japanese, so you know, it's not like I will lose too much progress if I do it right now. But Definitely more respectable. Yeah, don't mind Yami. Yami is a Japanese hater. Basically, his brain is programmed to hate the everything that comes from Japan. Oh yeah. Don't mind him. It's just being a little... Well, that's the thing. I say that, but in, in reality he loves that shit. And that's why I always call him a Sundere, because that's basically what he is. He claims to hate, hate, hate Japanese, but in the end, you know that he, like, you know, when he wakes up, he listens to Hatsune Miku, you know, when he, you know, eats lunch, he eats sushi with, you know, the the little sticks. Then he, you know, he prays to the glorious emperor of Japan. And then he finally goes to sleep in his customized Dakimakura of Hatsune Miku. But he pretends to hate all of that. He's like, no, how... How will I do such a dirty thing? How will I like Japanese things? <laughs> what do you mean, what the fuck? You know what I'm talking about, right? That's your daily life, isn't it? It's not? But it's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Though I mostly pick Hatsune Miku because, you know, today he told me about the fact that he played, uh, you know, Project Diva Future Tone, which is the PS4 Hatsune Miku game. And, you know, I did. I, that was unexpected to me. I, I mean, he said that he didn't like it, but, you know, to give it an attempt seems to be pretty, pretty cool to me. He gave it a chance, that means that for him to give it a chance, he had to be interested in the first place. But, you know, that was pretty, pretty cute, I gotta say. But yeah, you know, going back to the topic of Chinese, I feel that it will definitely be way more useful to learn Chinese than it will be to learn Japanese. I mean, useful mostly because 
Well, multiple people say that Chinese is gonna be the language of the future, and that's because the incredible amount of Chinese people uh, living, you know, in the world, right? I mean, they are basically... China is the most populated country in the world, as far as I know. I don't know if it's Ch uh, China or India. I think it's China, and India is the second place. So, yeah, that, 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 that was bound to happen. But, you know, it's something that makes me curious. Definitely makes me pretty curious, and I kind of want to see that. Uh, kind of want to learn it, but I don't know if it's gonna be as hard as Japanese. Oh, huh? I don't know where that is, but I guess we're gonna find out. But yeah, I'm pretty curious. What can I say? I guess I like learning languages after all. Or, no, let me rephrase that. It's not like I like the, the process of learning. I just like, you know, the fact that I could speak a, a different language. Obviously, that takes a lot of effort, but hey, it's definitely, you know, interesting by, by itself. I didn't expect to do that in the first try. There is also the problem that apparently Chinese has a lot of uh, dialects or variants. I don't know how to call it, but basically, it seems that it has a lot of those. Right, so I don't really know if there is such a thing as learning Chinese. Like, maybe you can only learn. You know. Like, pretty specific dialects, right? I guess it, it will make sense. This seems to be pretty risky. <laughs> it seems like this is what I have to do, right? I have to slowly take these stones with me. Well, if this is not what I have to do... I don't know what is. I'm gonna try to do it this way. I wonder here, like I should let this one fall, I guess, <sighs> yeah, I almost didn't think about that, almost. Yeah, I guess that's how you do it, there you go, I almost fucked it up, oh well, th this looks pretty aggressive. It definitely looks pretty, pretty aggressive. Okay. Jesus Christ, what, what, what am I supposed to do here? Alright, not that. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to push that rock from left to right. I guess I can try that. Oh, but these things are spinning the other way. That's gonna be a problem. They are spinning the opposite way that I... that the one I have to go into. Alright. Okay. So here... Go. Now the problem is... I can't throw the rock down, so I have to go back. But well, that's gonna suck. What? Do you really want me to go back? 
Are you really that evil? I think he is that evil. Alright, well. Oh. This might be pretty challenging, but eh, probably not that much. Just need to get one good run. Okay, just let it be there. I don't know how that did not kill me. Well, I know how that killed me. I met a guy so long ago, he was studying to become a Chinese translator. He had to go back study Chinese because he didn't know the correct one. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I heard that there is a lot of, as I say, a lot of dialects. Uh, you know, you have Mandarin, you have... I think traditional is a different one, because you know, you have basic Chinese, I think, and you have traditional, but you also have a lot of other ones that are also branches of Chinese, but they are, you know, from a specific regions. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is... Um, you know, some specific countries, like, for example, uh, Tibet, right, that speak Chinese, but not the... like, they speak their own version of Chinese. But then again, I don't know if that's considered Chinese or not. I think it is. It's like a branch of Chinese. And I don't even know how different it is or anything, but it seems pretty interesting. May maybe I shouldn't have banned that Japanese guy now that I think about it. That Japanese, that Chinese guy, sorry. <laughs> Did I say Japanese? I don't know what I say. Well, anyways, what the, what's important is I shouldn't have banned him. And again, I wonder if he will have answer to my questions. Because someone told me that he lost his mind, but you know, maybe Maybe he's just confused Maybe he's just confused Maybe we can just, you know, talk about it, right? I don't know I really I'm not used to dealing with people that uh, you know, might not be in their senses, so I wouldn't know. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I will make it in time. What Chinese guy? Well, earlier today, there was apparently a Chinese chatter that, you know, basically came here to say bad stuff, right? He already, if it was the same one, he already did it before, like, a couple months ago. Uh, and apparently he's a well-known person in the community, and according to someone in chat, he is a Chinese player that for some reason lost his mind. Uh, whatever that means. But, you know. Maybe he's just confused. I don't know. Never know. Maybe something unfortunate happened. But I guess I should have tried to talk with him, but... I don't know, last time he didn't seem like he really wanted to talk, so... I don't know. Wait, where should I go? So I apparently I open a hole somewhere. I wonder where that hole opened. I guess it's on the left side. Guess I don't see it there. Oh, oh I fucked up. Damn it. If you want to talk to a Chinese fan gamer, I can introduce you to some of them. A17 is not the best choice. Yeah, it's fine. It's just that you know. 
I'm curious sometimes when people act in weird ways what made them act like that in the first place I don't know if talking it out is gonna do anything but you never know I mean though there is also the fact that there are, there are language barriers right that's a, a pretty you know a pretty big barrier already but I don't know but it's okay don't worry about it but you know speaking about Chinese language at least uh, the thing that I found to be pretty interesting uh, this is so, something that I already mentioned but you know I like mentioning again because it, it's pretty interesting. You know how Chinese has like 5,000 symbols, if you want to call it that way. Uh, they are called Hanzi or Hanzi. I don't know how you pronounce that in Chinese. Those are symbols that allow you to write in Japanese, right? I think there are like 5,000 of them that are needed to be able to talk, in, you know, or at least to be able to understand basic stuff. And you might think that that's a lot, and you will probably be right, but here's the thing, right? In Japanese, there are like 2,000 of them, which also come from Chinese, by the way. Uh, the Japanese call them kanshi, but they are basically Hanzi shoes, you know, with different pronunciation than the Chinese counterpart. And the thing about the kanshi in Japanese is that they can be read in multiple ways. You can read a kanshi in so many ways that not even the Japanese people know some of the more obscure readings of some kanjis. But apparently in Chinese, every one of those hansi has only one reading, or at least that's what people told me. I don't know if that's right, but if that's right, that's really attractive to me. Because one of my biggest gripes with Japanese is the fact that they use a system like the kanshi and they still can use it properly. And when I say use it properly, is I mean using it for the purpose it was made. Which is, you know, trying to facilitate expressing ideas. But if every one of those ideas is gonna be pronounced however the fuck they want in different, you know, words, I think that kind of loses the purpose, right, of those characters that are supposed to uniquely represent an idea. I also know how through it is that in Chinese, each character has only one reading. If it is true, I'm definitely interested. But, you know, I realize that it's probably gonna be incredibly hard. And the problem is that differently from Japanese, I don't really have material that I will really care about in Chinese, I feel, right? Like most of the material that I... Oh, it didn't activate, interesting. I have to do like this. Uh, yeah, most of the material that I care about is in Japanese. But you know, I think there is a lot of games, especially gacha games that are in Chinese, and some MMOs that are also in Chinese, that maybe I can play. But then there is also another pretty big issue, and it's the 
Seems like the Chinese have quite a lot of protection when it comes to IP and stuff, right? So basically, if you want to enter a Chinese domain in internet, I'm pretty sure you can't if you don't use a VPN. Is not everything we related translated to Spanish even faster than English? Uh, definitely not. Uh, there might be some exceptions to that, but definitely not that I'm aware of. Like, there might be, like again, a really, really specific exception, but those are just that, like, exceptions. So yeah, no, not really. Uh, I mean, after all, chances are that even if there is a Spanish translator, it's most likely not even gonna translate in Spanish in the first place. It's most likely just gonna use English. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't really think that that's the case. If I'm not mistaken, I have to bring this thing up here. Is that what I have to do? Can I even do that? It's the question. So apparently, I could do something like this. And probably push it a little bit to the left. Mm, okay, not that much. Here. I can do this. So with that there, I think I can slowly but surely push this to propel myself up there. Like that. There we go. Um, but yeah. Also, speaking about learning languages, I think I already asked you this. Probably, you know how my memory is bad, but... Why don't you learn Spanish? Yummy. You know. I know that there is absolutely no reason for you to learn Spanish, but hey, maybe at some point you're gonna be so bored that there is nothing that is gonna cut it for you and you are gonna want to learn Spanish. I mean, it's an unlikely scenario, but you never know. Wrong, Chinese people are everywhere speaking Spanish countries and Argentina. Mm, but when did we say that that wasn't the case? I don't remember claiming otherwise, Colo. <laughs> what are you going on about? Why is there that fifth rock there? Why do I need that rock for? I mean, am I not supposed to use four of this? Oh, but I can't push this one. Oh, I should learn the problem. I, I can't push this one here because I wouldn't be able to push it further. Okay, all right. Well, that's pretty interesting. Well, that just means that... Wait, is there a way to push it? Yeah, like that. You can push it that way. But wait, if I do that, isn't that the same? Like... Well, not if I fuck it up like that, that is. Uh, I ain't learning any other languages too much if one I don't have any Spanolos friend. <laughs> Spanolos. <laughs> uh, that's a funny one. But you know, I mean... You can learn it for self-fulfillment, right? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know if it's that bad of an idea. Spanish is easy? <laughs> I definitely will not say that Spanish is easy, in fact, it's quite the contrary. Spanish is quite a hard language, and it's mostly hard because 
you know, things have gender, and if that wasn't enough, there is also the fact that verb conjugations are incredibly complex. So it's definitely not an easy language. But you know, it's a nice language. Nice in the sense that, you know, it sounds nice, I guess. I thought you say Chinese translators wouldn't even use Spanish and they will use English instead. Uh, no, you know, when Yami said weave, weave means exclusively Japanese, it's not Chinese. So, you know. Oh, now I understand why that block is up there. Alright, that makes sense. I should be able to... Ah, oh, wow, that was a lot wider than I expected, fuck. Alright, I should do this this part first then. Oh, I fucked it up. Wait, no. I can, I can jump. Okay, never mind. I didn't fuck it up. Learning language will be so hard without someone to talk to. Well, if it makes you feel better... Well, I already said this before, but... I learn English without talking to anyone. Like, literally the first time that I started speaking English was on my first stream on Twitch. My first stream on Twitch was literally the first time that I speak English for a, for an extended period of time. And even if the, my English is obviously not the best, it was the first time. I say so because I'm Spaniard. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. When, when you... When Spanish is your native language, it's pretty easy to say that it's easy, but... but yeah, Spanish is definitely not an easy language. Spanish is... It's pretty hard. Uh, I mean, I, I obviously, you know, it's also my native language, but I have to recognize that it's... It's a hard language. If you have to learn it from scratch. I don't have them polyglot skills, but you don't need skills. You just need to have immersion. Well, immersion and... Oh, well, will you look at that? Speaking of immersion... Alright, now it's gonna be. Okay. But yeah, like, first is basically learning the basics, just like any other language. You learn the basics, including grammar, basic words, and things like that. Then you start immersing yourself by playing, or you, like either playing games or reading stuff. I think reading is pretty important at first. Just so you can gain a lot of vocabulary because one thing is listening and another thing is reading. When you read something you are sure that what you are reading is what is being said. When you are listening sometimes you are not really sure if what you are listening is really what, what you think it is. So I think that's kind of the, the order. First, you learn the basics of grammar and some basic words. Then, you start reading either by playing video games or reading novels or whatever is your preferred method of reading. And then you start listening. And listening could be anything from, you know, podcasts to YouTube videos, to whatever you want, really. And that's pretty much how I learn English. But it also applies for Spanish. Um, you know. 
The difference is that, as I say, Spanish is a lot harder than English. But, you know, you can still do it if you are motivated enough or if you have enough of a reason to do it in the first place. Well, I guess that's the main problem, that you really don't have a, a reason to do it, right? Because, you know, with Japanese, for example, I have the motivation that I might at some point be able to understand the material that I care about. Well, with English, obviously, the motivation is being able to understand most of the video games I was playing. And also, you know, most of the stuff that I later on watch on Twitch. Oh, that... nice. That sign kills you. Alright. That's pretty cool. Good shit. Alright, can you not kill me, sign? There we go. Apparently, there is an... A killer apple here. Hmm. I see how it is. We're gonna have color doors. Hmm. I expected a boss, to be completely honest. I thought I would fight a boss, but there is no boss to be fought. Well. That's fine by me. Puzzle time? Puzzle time, huh? I will make sure to contact you when I need Doshin's translator. <laughs> Doshin's translator, huh? What kind of Doshin's? As you know, I know what he's going for, but maybe he legitimately... You know, is playing some really obscure Doshin games that he legitimately once translated I mean, you know, Doshin is not necessarily a synonym of what probably most of you are thinking But you know, maybe he just wants to be able to understand that really obscure Japanese puzzle game, right? Does Doshin mean something other than porn? <laughs> Yami, we already talked about this did you forget again? Him. That old man memory is really showing. <laughs> it's alright, don't worry about it. I also have probably even worse memory than you anyways. So, yes. Doshin means... Well, to be completely honest, I don't know the literal translation of Doshin, but it's something like young person, something like that. It's basically, the idea is that, you know, Doshin works are works made by inexperienced people or people that don't really have budget available in their hands. So the way they produce these works is by basically using their free time and their own resources to, to produce them, right? Usually these Doshin works are sold as, at conventions because obviously since they have no budget they obviously cannot... Uh, most of them at least can really you know, advertise their content, right? So, a convention like Comicet, which is the comic market, it's usually used to advertise uh, such content, right? And Doshin can be basically everything that, you know, enters in that pretty wide category of a work, an artistic work, obviously made for the purpose of, uh, you know, just, I guess you can say, spreading your, your art, right? Basically, the, the objective of 
Doshin is not to make a profit, but rather to kind of make an artistic expression, if you want to call it that way. So yeah, that's why, uh, you know, Doshin can be anything. Of course, that anything includes what Yami mentioned. What Yami mentioned, which is pretty common among Doshin uh, artists, mostly because since these are works made for no profit, a lot of the normal laws that will apply to such works, uh, you know, such as manga and works like that, they definitely do not apply for works like, you know, the they won't start doshin since they don't use artistic expression. <laughs> Come on, bro, that's just one of the branches. It could be anything. It could be a, a, a music CD. I know that you all fucks always, you know, related to that. But like, come on, bro. I mean, not everything has to be porn. Fucking horny ass motherfuckers. But yeah. Was that what I was supposed to do? Yeah, I think that was what I was supposed to do. Alright. Um, but you know, it's alright. Yeah, that also counts as a st artistic expression. It is. I mean, then again, the definition of art is incredibly wide. So it could be pretty much literally anything. So, you know. Yes, that includes pornographic works, of course. I think I have to get rid of this one. Oh, but I can get rid of the green one before I do that. Hmm, what happens if I get rid of the red one? Hmm. I probably needed to shun before doing that. But even if I do that, it's not gonna work because I can't reach the higher ones. Okay. So this one might need a little bit of thinking. So, it has a pretty specific order from what I can tell. So let's see what that order might be. So, obviously, the main thing of this puzzle is getting rid of all of the yellow apples. But it has to be done in a specific order. Because the ones that have less representation, which are the other three colors, if you get rid of some of these platforms, you are not gonna be able to get rid of some of the other platforms so let's see what will happen if I get rid of red that was probably the worst idea actually yeah, I think getting rid of red that early is not a good idea or if I get rid of red it has to be done in a way where I end up in one of the platforms, because otherwise... Yeah, otherwise you should end up being down there. Okay. Well, definitely gotta give it some thought. Okay. Let's see. So a lot of these apples are specifically... hidden. Uh, you know, with some other colors in between them. But I have the feeling that if I get rid of red, I should be able to get rid of most of the others. 
the, r the real issue here is that I can't really get rid of red without getting rid of blue, I think. Because if I get rid of this one, I can't really go up any of these platforms and by extension I am forced to be on the ground. At the same time, the only two colors that I can get rid of right now are blue and red. Now, the most tempting color to get rid of is blue. It might be the best idea because I don't see anything viable getting rid of red. So I'm gonna just get rid of blue and see what else we have. So in order to shoot that one in the corner, I need to get rid of green. Now, getting rid of green is a little bit complicated. Because getting rid of green basically means getting rid of red. Because otherwise I cannot blast this apple right here. So, there is something that I can do considering that this jump is possible, which is this. So that way, now I can be up here, and at the same time I'm able to navigate like this. Now the problem is, after this, you're basically left with nothing, because you can go up there. So I think this is not the right choice. There has to be a different order. The first thing that I'm gonna do though is getting rid of those that I can get rid of. Actually, what if I get rid of this one and leave this one for last? Will that change much? Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Let's see. What if I do... This. Yes, this might be the answer. Might be. So I can get rid of this one. I need to get rid of green in here. But I'm pretty sure I can jump up there. Yeah. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. At least for now. But this when we have to think about it. Which one do I get rid of? Green or blue? So, it's pretty clear that if I get rid of green, there's not gonna be much change at all. Because even if this one becomes vulnerable, there is no way that I can shoot from up here. So it will be useless. And if I get rid of blue, getting rid of blue wouldn't do... It wouldn't do anything. It would be completely useless to get rid of blue right now. So I think this is also not the solution. Hmm. Green. Yeah, getting rid of green here doesn't do anything. It leaves that one vulnerable, but at the same time... Why are you even supposed to reach it? I wonder what will happen if red was still there. I also wonder... See, that's the thing. If I get rid of blue here... I can actually go for the upper left apple, but not for the upper right. The upper right is unreachable no matter what in this context. So it has to be made in some other way. The other solution will be letting the red stay there, but the issue with letting the red stay there means that the, I can't get rid of the green. So the red is necessary. Or, I mean, it's necessary to get rid of the red one because otherwise the green is completely locked 
What's with this game and Zelda sounds? I mean, what, you don't like Zelda sounds? Are you being a Zelda bigot? Is that what you're telling me? Wait, I think I understand. What I did before was the right thing. What was not the right thing is the order of the of the green apples. I think that that's what my issue was. Getting rid of the green apples right now is something that I shouldn't do yet. Not yet, at least. But at the same time... Let me check it out. I think the green apple that is on the top of the screen is the last one that you gotta get rid of. That one has to be the absolute last. Now, in order to do that... Can I jump from here? Okay, that jump is doable. So get rid of this one. There we go. So here, this is the, the important movement. So, if I get rid of this one, the other one becomes vulnerable, but only for a pretty short amount of time, because after that, I, there is no way for me to go up. Definitely not, it's just that it's weird to look at this game and hear Zelda. Well, you should play the original then. The original had a section that was literally Zelda. And basically you had Link cutting your ass with his sword. It was a, an interesting section, I, I gotta say. Okay. I don't think this really does much though. Like, if I get rid of the green, the blue and yellow are still gonna be there. And... That will be useless. As far as I know. Because... Like... Let's just imagine that I get rid of this green apple. And I shoot this yellow one at the same time, right? So if I do that, green disappears, but I still can get this one. Like that, that's the main issue here. That one is just not reachable with these colors. Because you need to get rid of yellow, which yes, obviously you can do that. But if I get rid of blue... Wait, if I get rid of blue, I can actually reach that high. So it's just basically doing a really, really fast movement here. Like shooting down this one and immediately shooting the other one. It has to be a really fast movement. Sadly, I can't do this with a single jump. Like with a single jump, I can't get rid of that green apple. So it has to be with a double jump. Well, I guess YOLO. There we go, okay, you can do that. And here, you get rid of the blue one, but not from that one, from this one. And now... There we go, that's how you do it. She she's. That was an interesting puzzle, oh, and there is more. The puzzles just keep on going. Well, and this one looks pretty interesting, too. So... What do we have here? There is... Two yellow apples, three green ones, two blue ones, and three red ones. But the red ones, the catch is that they are on the same uh, place. Now, getting rid of the green ones is not something that we want to at first. Because that will mean that the red ones 
wouldn't be accessible. So I have a feeling that the ones that are have to that have to go first. Hmm. I think this one is a lot more order based. So let's see. Which ones are safe to get rid of for now? If I get rid of green, pretty sure I'm gonna... Okay, I can't. I just can't get rid of green. Hmm. If I can get rid of red... I can get rid of blue too. Wait. Blue... Before that, before I get rid of blue, should probably get rid of green. But if I get rid of green, how do I go back up? Hmm. Maybe I destroy the, the wrong apples in my way. You think that's the case? If I get rid of blue right now, I'm dead. And if I get rid of green, I'm stuck, right? Or maybe not, let's see. That's how it looks like. No, I think... No, but it's impossible to get rid of this one without dying. So, yeah. This blue one is definitely not the one that you want to leave for last. Because you can destroy it without completely dying. Okay, so that means that that blue one has to be left for last. But I can still destroy uh, this for now. No, no, maybe leave this one too. Destroy all of the ones that are down here that seem like most of a pain in the ass to get rid of. Seems like it's gonna be the smartest idea. Yeah, and then just leave all of those there. So, um, yeah, this is, wait, let's not get uh, in a hurry here. There is no need to hurry this. So, depending on which one I get rid of, wait, isn't that already close? Like, those spikes are not gonna let me through. So, the red ones are actually the last ones I have to get rid of. Really? That seems crazy. I think that's that's the case. All right. Let's try to just get rid of the ones that are down here first, and then we will see about the rest. So red ones, let one of them live, like that one, for example. And then, I'm pretty sure getting rid of blue is completely safe. Yellow, it should be safe too, I think. Maybe, wait, if I get rid of green here, I die. <clears throat> Guess I can go back. Getting rid of yellow, however, no problem, I think. Oh, never mind, there was a problem, now I can go back. Oops. Hmm. I think I understand, but seems pretty convoluted if it's the way it is. And when I say convoluted, I mean that it needs some pretty fast movement at the end. Let's see if that's the case or not. Wait, no. Don't get rid of the one on the right. Get rid of the one on the left. So that way, I can spam shot and maybe that will work, or maybe not, let's see. I still am not sure if this plan is gonna work. What kind of Donkey Kong is this? Pretty sure this isn't Donkey Kong, but you know. Uh, how is it going, Clone Cat? Now, this is basically the sequel from I Wanna See the Moon, or at least the spiritual successor. 
which is called I wanna reach the moon. Because seeing it is not enough, we have to reach it too. But yeah, apparently that's what we want to do. We just want to reach the moon. It's a pretty nice goal. Pretty honest goal. Yeah, apparently that's what we want to do. Reach the moon. Um, I also want to know if my plan is gonna work. That's what I definitely want to do. So if I shoot off that apple right there, I won't be able to go back. But if I shoot the yellow one, I also won't be able to go back. At least not back here. If I shoot the red one, however, I also won't be able to go back. So... It's a little bit weird. Let me see something. If I do that... The problem is, if I shoot the green one here, is that gonna be enough? I guess it should be, but I have to aim. There we go! She she's. That was a good one. And these puzzles are pretty great, I gotta say. They are pretty fun. Still haven't finished it. <laughs> Damn. Seems like Kyle is a little bit salty today, huh? How is it going, Kyle? This is another one. We already saw the moon. This is I wanna reach the moon. It's a little bit different, you know. Reaching it's not exactly, you know. Yeah, the, the manzanas, I know. I kinda recognize the music. Well, someone say that it's pretty similar to Zelda, but I don't think this is Zelda. Or maybe it is. I don't know, I haven't played enough Zelda games to know. Maybe it is. It's Donkey Kong. Interesting. Oh, so that's why you say that. Why am I playing Donkey Kong? So this is a Donkey Kong music, huh? Alright. From Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, the only Donkey Kong game I played is Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, you know. I don't really know much about Donkey Kong. So, it is what it is. Yeah. Good shit. A drum and bass one? There is a drum and bass remix of this song. Yeah. Some people are pretty creative, huh? Have you seen the moon already? Yes, I, I did indeed see the moon. How is it going, Riemann? They might like how all of these stoners came here at the same time. I wonder from which stream they come from. Cause it's like we got raided but there wasn't a raid. I wonder where, where they come from. What part of the internet these guys were running around. A little bit curious, for sure. Yeah, I wonder. I it's wondered. Also, I think I have to leave the red apple alone and get this one. There you go. Ether vapor runs in 240 FPSs for me. Ether vapor. That sounds like a stoner game. It's like the the perfect name for a stoner game. Ether Vapor. Hmm, I wonder if this was the right order. It's a shoot em up and it's anime as fuck. <laughs> In. I see why you took an interest uh, to it. Makes sense. I have it, it's only 40 megabytes. 40 megabytes. 
Doesn't seem to be too much. Hmm. What also doesn't seem to be too much is my opportunities here. What am I supposed to do? Maybe something like this? I think that's the answer. Yeah, that is indeed the answer. She she's. I don't like that apple right there though. What a cute apple. Really, really enjoy that apple. Man, and now I have to remember what the fuck I did here. You think I remember that, Brew? Come on. Well, I remember blue and yellow being the last two ones. <laughs> Motherfucker, why did you have to blow up in my face? Oh, and yeah, I already forgot. That's not the green apple that you have to go for first. So the order will be shooting this yellow one, letting that green one leave, shooting this one instead, and then shooting this one. So when you do that, the red ones are left. So you shoot the red ones, Ah, oh, but not that one. Fuck! God damn it! It was the the wrong order. You're supposed to hit the one on the right first. Fuck! That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We got it. I mean, it, we already did it once. Just have to do it again. So, leave that apple alive and kill this one instead. And now, get rid of this one. Okay. Uh, here. What did I need to do here? Getting rid of this one and then this one, right? Like that. Then you can just get rid of the yellow one. Alright. Now the problem here is this apple. You... Just jump over it. Okay, you don't hit it. Good to know. Uh oh, and it seems that that apple... Yep, seems that that apple is gonna attack. Using less than 40 megabytes, some people came up with marvelous things like Mega Man, Pokemon. So yeah, but that's back in the time where that was pretty much the standard. Nowadays, it's no longer the standard. It didn't come from a stream. I was editing the usual wiki articles. Damn. Are you editing a low-tier gold wiki, Kyle? I can provide some information if you want. Do you need it? I mean, since he's your favorite streamer and everything. Wow. Yeah, no, I don't underestimate 40 megabytes back then. I do underestimate it nowadays. Because, you know, here's the thing. Most developers don't know how the fuck to optimize things at all, right? So the thing is, for someone to make a game on 40 megabytes, it's either a really good developer that knows how to optimize perfectly, or it's a game with really low amount of content. It's usually the, the second one. You never know, though. A wiki can hold a bitch as big as him. <laughs> I don't know why Kyle is so salty towards poor LT she. <laughs> no, I I do know, but it's still pretty funny. I 
I mean, why don't you... Oh wow, the apple is not going down even though it doesn't have a hell bar. Nice. Um, DDP 7.5. Also, you know, if you want to... If you want to sell things with low tier gold, why don't you... Why don't you challenge him to a first to ten? Right? That's how a uh, first to ten in Blaze Blue. Or maybe on, on, in Toho Isoten Soku. What about that? You could do that. Do a money match. That will be that will be pretty nice. I mean, after all, I don't think there are money matches anymore. Mostly because money matches are, you know, something that was supposed to be made in person. And obviously because of the pandemic, you are not gonna be doing something like that anymore. I can't believe I lost that good shit. Okay, so what's the deal here? This thing has no more health. Uh-oh. Oh, you have to be shitting me. You're really gonna do that, don't you? And this apple... is a pretty futuristic apple. Look at all the tools it has. Didn't know that apples would evolve to be such a... you know... Such a, an advanced uh, fruit species. Really surprised. Ouch. And the explosion sounds sound so... So nice. Sounds nice because if you get hit by it, it's like... Just got evaporated. Alright, let's try not to get evaporated this time though. That would be nice. That was close. Jesus Christ, that was really close. Oh, I wanted to hurry up in destroying it so he didn't get any other pattern. I ended up dying. Also, that sound effect from those razor blades, where does that sound effect come from? Like, that's something that you do to cars, but I don't remember how it was called. How do you call that? The carburetor, is that how you call it? Because it's a pretty specific sound. I know it's related to cars. But I don't know exactly to what it refers. I'm curious. I obviously heard it multiple times before. Keep in mind that I'm a, a complete noob when it comes to cars, so... I have no clue. Wait, so what's the pattern here? Is the pattern literally just dodging these bouncing things? That seems to be the case. Alright. Well, that was Final Fantasy. Oh, and that's... Is that a Mega Man teleporter? Oh, shit. We got a boat? I got a boat, motherfucker. Take a look at me. Um... It's like the car modification sound. Yeah, it, it's in a lot of games, but it's a it's something that exists in real life. It's a sound ef a sound effect that is based on a real sound, but I don't remember how that that thing is called. Um, wait a second. Where do you want me to go now? 
to the right. But nothing changed here. Wait, what, what am I missing here? Because I don't remember seeing a, a beach. Hmm. Also, yeah, that, that sound effect was uh, from Final Fantasy. Oh, you... I didn't know that you could... That you could get up here. I thought that that place was not possible to reach. I don't know what I was smoking. All right. You in reality can go here. And so this place is a lot bigger than I expected. And that's a really interesting sprite. Isn't this sprite from a game on the PS1 called Puzzle uh, Bubble or whatever the fuck you pronounce that name? Like I I remember this castle sprites and I feel that it's from that game, from Puzzle uh, Bubble. I wonder if it is. Would be really neat if it was. Yeah, especially those castle towers. It looks exactly like it. Wonder what else it's in there. Okay, that's probably something that I'm not supposed to do now. So let's see what else we got. Hmm. This was a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, I guess this was the place. That's pretty interesting because if you come here, like before you get the boat, you come here for no reason. That's pretty interesting. So I'm glad that I didn't discover this place before, because it will have been a complete waste of time. So I'm assuming that I have to go to the right if I want to... Wow, no save, really? I also wonder what happens if you go down. But that boat looked like it was on a, on a seashore. So I don't think going... Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to go down yet. <laughs> or at all, I don't know. Yeah, that was a nice cactus. Can you believe that cactus exist? You know, I know that what I just said might sound pretty dumb, right? Yeah, no shit cactus exists, you moron. But the thing is... Like, think about it. We're talking about plants that grow in the desert. Where there is almost no water at all. Right? And... They are incredibly unique. Like, we are talking about plants that have spikes all over them. I think some of them might be poisonous, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty interesting, right? One of those plants that... I guess you can call one of those wonders of, of nature. Damn. That killed me twice right now. What is this cactus racism? Hey, I didn't say it was bad. I say it quite the contrary. That cactus are, you know, a sight to, to behold. Plants that grow where there are no animals to eat them sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea, but at the same time, imagine how tough you have to be. Like, surviving without water in a completely dry place where there is almost nothing around. And you're still... Oh, I didn't think the ceiling would be solid. But yeah, basically, you still survive. Pretty interesting to me. And since I never been into a deserted area, I never seen a cactus in real life. 
it's one of those things that I know it exists because, you know, you see it on TV or on the internet. I never saw one. The spikes give them water and protection. Oh, I wonder how they get water out of those spikes. Oh, I didn't even see that. I thought it was part of the background. God damn it. I'm surprised by how long the checkpoint is here. Wonder why they went for such a, a long checkpoint. But it's okay. I don't mind. I mean, I don't mind as long as I stop dying, that is. With drugs, dude. Come on, bro. I can't appreciate the beauty of a plant now. Is that considered being a stoner? I didn't even mention the plant that the stoners use. I just mentioned a cactus. Condensation. They pick it up from the air. Just like that. And this champ. Ooh, hoo, 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 okay. So how do I get to that save point? Like that. There we go. Okay, well at least we got a save. So with this save, I wonder how far we are from the from the beach. From the seashore. Hmm. Oh, I think you're supposed to go up here. You can do that. Wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to throw myself here. Just so I can climb. And this area was a lot longer than I expected. Is it possible to come here without doing anything else? Because if you come all the way here just to find out that it's a dead end, that has to be really demoralizing. Like, that will be really fucked up. You get all the way to the seashore just to find out that you have to go back? Yeah, I don't think it's... Well, I don't know actually if it's possible or not to do that. Do you know, Yami, if it's possible or not? If you go all the way to this seashore but you don't have the bow ready and you have to go all the way back, is that even possible? Because if that happens to me, I will get really, really salty. You're assuming the journey is useless? Yeah, I am assuming that. Maybe it's not. Yeah, my bad, maybe that was uh, an assumption. Maybe once you reach there you're gonna find a teleport. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Especially because one of those objects close to the, to the castle tower looked like a teleporter. So maybe once I get there we're gonna get a teleporter to quickly go back and forth. In which case I guess... It ain't that big of a deal. <sighs> Damn, I almost fucked that up and I fucked it up. Damn it! Fucking cactus. So, I have to assume that there are like... 10 cactus underground. Sorry, 10 cacti. That's one of those irregular plurals because, because cactus already has an S at the end. So I think the plural is cacti. Since you can't say cactuses, so that will sound weird and funny too.
fuck, that jump seems to be pretty hard to do. Or, well, at least not that easy. Tai instead of T. Oh, cacti? Him. Oh, it was cacti. Alright. Cactusesis. I mean, I feel that that's the optimal, the optimal way of saying it. Cactusesis. I mean, just think about it. It's intuitive and it's not that hard to pronounce. I think it's perfect. Cactusesis. What's not perfect is the fucking save location. What the fuck? That's so far away. Ah, oh, and I end up fucking dying. Damn, they go really, really greedy with the checkpoints here, huh? What's a checkpoint? And this game doesn't have um, difficulty selection. So, you know, they decided to put checkpoints like this. Really, really far away from each other. Eh, it's okay. I'm sure it's just a matter of time. Hmm. Is there any trap in here? Nope. There we go, save. Oh shit, a pyramid? Okay. We got some... Hmm, I wonder who that is. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what game this one is from. I don't know what it looks like. Maybe this is from some Final Fantasy game? Definitely some Shea RPG. Wait, that's a Toho sound effect. I can't believe this toner is using Toho sound effects. Unbelievable. Cactusy. Wait, cactuses is also fine. Really? Didn't know that. I heard cactus, cacti, and cactuses all for plural. I think they are all fine. <laughs> I mean, it's just like many things in English, I think it's more of the fact that, you know, nobody bothers to learn the right way because the right way is so stupid and so unintuitive that they are like, nah, I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want. So I think it's mostly that. Not that it was intended for it to be all, uh, alright. Oh, I double jump. God damn it. I really wonder where this guy is from. Come on. One of you have to know where this guy is from. Right? His patterns don't seem that dangerous if that's all he has to offer. But maybe he has a second phase. Okay, he has a second phase. I knew it. He couldn't be that easy. And you're supposed to return that? Oh, okay. It's properly aimed. Uh-oh. This is fine. This is not fine. It's not a shoot em up. Yeah, it's definitely not a shoot em up. That's for sure. But I really wonder where it's from. Oh, come on. Damn it. I'm missing patterns that are pretty, pretty easy to not miss. And yet, I'm getting fucked still. That's fine. We're gonna get it.
Okay, returning that last one works sometimes. Most of the times it seems that it doesn't really work. Hmm. I wonder if I should return it regardless. Uh, not necessary. Okay, but here it is necessary to 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 get some decent damage at least. So this pattern in particular, this shouldn't be hard to dodge, but for some reason I got fucked last time. I mean, it is a pretty standard pattern. I remember it, seeing it in some other fun game. I don't remember which one. You still have more? No, it fucks off. And I got a, a purple key. Oh, I remember that. I remember that place. I actually remember that place. Well, I mean, I remember seeing it. I don't remember exactly where it was. Oh shit, an actual pyramid. Damn, this place seems to be a lot more huge than I expected. But we unlock this. So we can actually go here somewhere. Though, before I go there, I want to see what's down here. Is this gonna be a cactus? No, this is a different area. Okay. Before I do that, I'm gonna do this. I don't know which one I should do first, but I want to do this since this is what I came... What I came for in the first place. Yeah, I'm not sure how good of an idea doing this is... Uh, you know... Before doing the other thing, but I'm gonna try. Symphony of the Night theme. This one, you mean? Interesting. I should play Symphony of the Night. But I don't know. I haven't beaten uh, Rondo of Blood. I have to be Rondo of Blood before I, I get to that one. El Rondo of Blood. That champ seems to be quite precise. Can I even do that champ? Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to have something else? Yeah, it seems that I'm supposed to have something else in here. Because I don't think I can make this champ. So I might need a power-up or something that allows me to go there. Because right now, it doesn't seem possible. Alright, tell me, Yami. With yes or no. Is this champ possible right now? I have a feeling that it's not, but I just want to ask. Oh, the pyramid one, you mean, yeah. I see. Yeah, I guess I should play Symphony of the Night. Eventually. I really don't feel that this champ is possible. It definitely doesn't look possible at all. Yeah, I don't think it is. And I'm not seeing anywhere else to go. I have to assume that this is not possible yet. Well, I mean, there is that pyramid. We can go inside and see where what there is. It's not possible, but... Uh, I, I, I am interested in that but. W what is that but about? Come on, I'm listening. But... It's not possible, but... There might be another way to do that segment. Another way. Is it an intended way, or is it a glitched way? Because if it's a glitched way, I'm not really interested. So this doesn't look... ...possible for me right now. There might be another way. Hmm. I don't see how, though. 
doesn't seem to be anything. It's intended, but I recommend going the other way first. I wonder what the intended way is here. Well, yeah, I, I will go the other way because I have no clue how you're supposed to do that. Oh yeah, I guess let's go to the pyramid and see what we can find in it. Oh, you mean that this is the Symphony of the Night theme, Kyle? The one inside of the pyramid. Yeah, it sounds like it could be from a Castlevania. Definitely sounds like it. Yes, I see. And these darts are being a little bit aggressive. There are more of them. Pretty high speed darts. Then again, are these darts or are these arrows? Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh shit! We have some Danmaku ghosts. Is this place possessed by Yomu? By the way, speaking of Yomu, well, it doesn't appear, but. Uh, the new Toho manga release a new chapter, just in case anyone gives a fuck because I definitely don't. Oh yeah, in case anyone gave a shit, you can check it out. <laughs> yeah, sadly, the same thing happened that happened with the other mangas. Soon sucks a storytelling and I just can't bother to give a shit. <laughs> It is what it is. I just can't. It's just too much. Nothing interesting happening for already like what? Nine chapters? I mean it looked like something interesting was about to happen but it ended up being nothing as always. So yeah. A little bit disappointed that that's the case but you know. Playing Toho for the story is already a bad idea, so... Ready, reading a manga... Reading, sorry, a manga for the story is even worse. So, you know. Let's try to get away from it. Ray move on by spamming fantasy sealed. <laughs> Never forget. No, it's even worse. Like, it's basically, you know what the problem is? Every chapter is exactly the same. Like, it's not even, at least Reimu won by spamming fantasy seal. It was fucking bullshit, but at least it had some substance to it, right? Like, there's at least something happened. Here, nothing is happening. It's like Forbidden Scrollery and Wild and Horned Hermit all over again. Where nothing happens ever. It just keeps dragging on with nothing interesting happening whatsoever. I know that I shouldn't be surprised at this point, but it's still pretty disappointing that it has to be that way. There we go. Just like in the games. Yeah, but at least in the games you have the gameplay and stuff. Which is basically the only reason why you would play a Toho game. I mean, if you care about the characters, you don't play the games. You go to your favorite Doshin site and do, you know... Like, the games, their value is that they are Danmaku games, some pretty unique ones at that. If you are playing the games for the story or for the characters, you're just gonna end up being disappointed. Unless your favorite character is Reimu, in which case I'm pretty sure you're gonna be happy because that bitch appears everywhere. And fuck Reimu, dude. What a shitty ass character. Yeah. 
Yeah, I sadly can despise Reimu enough. My hatred for Reimu has only been incremental. But it's okay. Y'all know what he means by fuck Reimu. <laughs> Nah, not even for that. She can stay pure for all I care. Her stick keeps getting longer. <laughs> yeah, so that way he can murder people by splitting their school more effectively. I, I heard it up. Remo is the only viable character. <laughs> Remo is the only viable character. Yeah. She is. She is the only viable character. In the lore, that is. I mean, if there's any problem, who you're gonna call? No, definitely not the Ghostbusters. You're gonna call Reimu because she's not only the Ghostbuster, but she's the everything buster. Everything that you want to bust, she's gonna do it. Maybe that wasn't worded properly now that I think about it. But it's okay, don't worry about it. Oh shit, this guy is back? Or is this a different one? That reminds me that maybe the other boss was from Castlevania. And maybe this one is too. Groundhog pick. What if something is already busted? I don't know, dude. I will leave it up to your imagination. Well, that wasn't as, as hard as I thought it would be. Hmm, is this a teleport or is this just an elevator? Oh, never mind, it's fucking nothing, that's what it is. No, it is supposed to be an elevator, but I can't use it yet, I think. Oh no. You're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be doing this. Alright. Seems about right. Okay. So we gotta deviate this to somewhere. I don't know where that somewhere is. Probably all the way here, right? Hmm. But I don't see any anything that can reflect that laser here. I see it here though. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I go all the way down. Did not buster the yokai buster. Damn, the duality of man. Damn, I I'm surprised that Kyle is not the one that say the first one. Well, I suspected there is just more lasers here, so let's just do something here. I think you're supposed to touch the crystals. Hmm. Not like that. Let's see. I don't think there are many things that I can flip here without dying a horrible death. I can flip that one. Some of this, I don't understand what some of this do. Maybe I should do the one on the right first. It seemed to be the easiest one. Are you winning, son? Well, you can judge by yourself. How is it going, Mr. Tusk? 
I had to say the Soku spell. Oh, that's a so oh, that's right. You're a Soku fanboy. I forgot. My bad. I almost forgot. Almost. All right. Just like every puzzle of this sort, you're supposed to start in reverse. So when you start in reverse, you can quickly reconstruct the the whole path and then obviously activate the laser uh, no oh, I didn't mean to to change this one let's leave it where it was and but this is a pretty long one for sure hmm Wait a sec. I think I'm not doing this correctly. Let me see. There is something a little bit weird with this path. Because I don't know exactly where it's supposed to go. So, in this one... Wait, this one has to be like this. Let's see. If it goes here... There? Is that the... No, that's not the right path. Hmm. Okay. So that bounces up there. Then it comes here, here. Okay, this one, instead of going here, it should go here. And then something like this. Alright, that might work. Now, the problem is... How do I flip that? Oh, I need to flip this one first. Okay. Like that. Okay, this should work. If I don't get killed in the process, that is. There you go. So that did work. What does that do, though? Why would I want that thing shining? Well, I don't know why I will want that thing shining, but apparently it's shining. I think you're supposed to do that with the other two. I like Yamp more, but that game has aged poorly. Every game has aged poorly because it's made by Tasofro, dude. And you know what they say about Tasofro. Alright. I almost got blasted there. And some lasers... Oh, there are two sources for the lasers. Now I see why there are so many lasers going around like this. There are... No, there are three sources. Are you kidding me? Three sources for these lasers. Don't you think that's a little bit... Um, fucked up? Alright. Well, at least I can dispel them like that, slightly. Well, that's weird. Why are there three laser sources if there is only two red crystals? Maybe one of them doesn't go anywhere. So, let's see. This one has to be like that. Well, by doing that, one of them is already connected. So the question... Yeah, that, that probably wouldn't work if you want to connect the other one. Okay. Well, I guess we have to disconnect all of them slowly but surely. Okay. So let's try to do the reverse engineering. Well, sadly, this laser is not gonna let me pass. Unless I flip the one on top, but I can't flip the one on top. Hmm. What am I supposed to do there? Because if I can't flip that laser, I don't think I can go anywhere else. Hmm. That seems weird. How do I get to the other side of this? Because these platforms, I mean, these reflectors are 
Oh, well, that's a platform. I didn't know that was a platform. All right. Well, in that case, let's see. Where can we go? Hmm. So, maybe that one can go up there. But what about this other one? This other one... Like this? It's gonna be that easy? No way it's gonna be that easy, right? Because if I flip this one and then I flip this one, I win, right? Uh, wait, no, not this one. Um, wait, I fucked up. Wait a second. No, I, I, uh, it wasn't that easy. I'm fucking up. Mega Mario is still as infuriating as it is in the day of release, of course. I mean, when I talk shit about Mega Mario, it wasn't because, you know, I wanted to sound edgy. It's because that game is fucking trash. So, yeah, I mean, it's made by Tasofro, dude. What do you expect? Okay. So I think with that one it is solved, but the issue is how do I flip the top laser so it doesn't absolutely murder me? Because if I flip this one apparently I it should be done. Hmm. Well, I think you will do something like that. Now the question is which one do I flip first? I think it makes no difference, right? At least I hope it doesn't. Okay, that one seems to be the closest one. And now we flip this one. That shouldn't kill me, hopefully. Alright, there you go. I wonder, the other laser, I guess, the only purpose of it was to, to block your path or something. So, alright. That means that there is only one more left. Which is on the bottom. Damn, I gotta say that I really like these puzzles. They are pretty well done. They are pretty entertaining to do. Okay, so here. Now this one has three, but at the same time it has four energy sources. We gotta be careful here. That's a lot of energy sources. So this one. Uh, wait, before I do that. Probably should... Yeah, I expected that to happen. Alright. Well, with that one we can cancel that one. And in fact... This one is useless, right? Because you can't... You can't put it anywhere. So this laser, the only purpose it has is blocking your entrance to the bottom row. Okay. Well, good to know. Alright, so let's see. Ah, oh, come on, dude. How about you stop getting killed? That would be pretty nice. There we go. Okay, so that way I effectively can cut that laser without trouble. So, this one starts from there. And it bounces like this. Hmm. This one seems to be pretty long. Okay, this one comes from the laser on the left. If I flip this, this switch right here, it's gonna work. It's gonna go straight where I want to. Now for the one here. So, I have to switch like this. No, like this, to the other side. Mm, this one also seems pretty, pretty complex. And in fact, it continues here on the...
Man, what a nice laser. Come on, bro. Why do you have to do that? Why you gotta be like that? God damn it. You really had to do it like that. <sighs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. I accept it. It was my bad. Jesus Christ. I can't believe it. Alright. Well, it's fine. I didn't change that much after all. I mean, I changed some of them, but... Could have been worse. So, for this one... You go here, and I have to change that one where my cursor is, which is the place that I died to. This goes all the way here, and then you flip that one on the bottom to the top, so that way it goes up. Uh, for the one on the left, I already did this one, but I fucked up, right? Or did I do the one on the right? Let's see, the one on the right... Uh, or the one on the right. No, the one on the right is the one that I did. Since it's gonna bounce off like this and it's gonna connect to this one. So what about the one on the left? The one on the left... Has to bounce up there too, right? Up there and then down here. Wait a second. Does that add up? I think that adds up. Okay, so now the question is which one do I flip first to not get obliterated? Because this one will block my path here. So it's probably the one that I want to leave for last. This one... This one will also block my path. So I'm assuming the first one is the one on top. This one. Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna fuck me up or not. Alright, hopefully not. Okay, that one ends there. So, what should be the next one? Maybe this one? So this one is gonna go... Hmm, no. That, that one is not the next one. It has to be this one. It's gonna go near me, but it's not gonna kill me. Alright, well, let's go for this one then. Alright. And then for the last one, it's this one. Flip the switch to the top. There we go. She she's. That was a nice puzzle. So I have every sham. What's my reward? Did I get a treasure for that? Really hope I did. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to pick up that sham. Hopefully not. No, those shams are shining. Hmm. I wonder... Well, I guess I'm assuming that powers up the elevator. Okay, yeah, that's what it does. Nice. So the shams are used as energy. I wonder if that also power up the elevator on the castle at the beginning. What's gonna be at the end of this? Is that... To tank a man? No. No, that's not... That's a sorcerer. Who are you? Damn, that's a lot of Danmaku. Uh-oh. Okay, this one seems... This one seems dangerous. At least dangerous enough. Seems to have a lot of health as well. Pretty sure. Ah, oh, I wasn't supposed to jump there. 
wonder if I can defeat this guy today. It seems it is the kind of boss that is gonna take some time. We'll see. I also wonder where the music is from. Maybe it's also from Symphony of the Night. I don't know. Oh wait, they are changing. Oh, I should realize that they are changing position. Damn it, I was shooting for no reason there. God damn it. Alright. That's fine by me. Uh, the problem is that that... That Pharaoh mask on the middle is definitely gonna do something. If the statues are also doing something, I will assume that, that thing in the middle is definitely gonna be an enemy as well. This one. Oh, you're supposed to shoot him by jumping. You can't stay on the ground. Okay. Okay. Here comes the other one. So for this one, I have to avoid jumping in pretty specific intervals. Okay. Uh oh. Damn. Some aimed bullets. Damn, I think that... No, he has more. Oh, of course, I knew that that shit will do something. Wait, is the entirety of this shit a hitbox? I wonder if the entirety of that shit is a hitbox. Because it sure seemed that way, but maybe not. But it is not Symphony of the Night, I wonder what it is. Well, it doesn't sound like Symphony of the Night, to be completely honest. It seems like a pretty... ...original boss. That's for sure. I think a lot of the bosses in these fun games, except for those that use, you know, obviously a popular character, they are pretty original, because I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to be a, a popular character at all. It might be even a generic enemy in god knows which game. Oh, god damn it. I got fucked on that pattern. That was so simple. But there is some pretty hardcore Danmaku on the last phase with the Pharaoh mask, huh? I gotta say that I'm enjoying this fight quite a lot. Pretty, pretty well done. Well, then again, I probably shouldn't say that until I see the entirety of that Pharaoh face. So, you know. That's definitely gonna dictate... ...what to expect from this fight. Hmm, be careful with that. I like the Toho sound effects though, that's pretty nice. Ah, oh, come on! I got so unlucky there, I had no, no place to land after that jump. Got completely fucked. But I gotta do it.
like how fast you can switch back and forth here. You also gotta be careful because the hitbox of that of those ghosts extends even to the to the tail. Just like it's usually in I wanna be the guy fun games. That the hitbox is the entirety of the sprite. Okay. So here's the question. Is this thing gonna kill me if I stay here? No, okay. So the idea is that you can dodge these patterns from wherever you want. But at the same time you have to shoot since everything is a hitbox here. We get some Danmaku with Toho effects. Hmm. Damn, Star Danmaku? And it's coming from the ice too. Alright. I think that should be. Gotcha. I don't know what I picked up. I think I picked something up, but I, I didn't see. Wait, now what? Do I jump off the cliff? Yeah, that seems like the only way out. Alright. Good shit. Yeah, that's Danmaku. Well, it was Danmaku. Alright, I don't know what we got there. Hmm. Wait, why did, what did I get there? Because that thing exploded and I think I was supposed to pick something up. Or maybe it didn't drop anything and what I, it did is activate the, the elevator. Maybe that's what it did. Maybe I should check the elevator now. Maybe the boss is just there so you can get out of the pyramid. It didn't give you anything. Yeah, there you go. Well, we got that. But I'm definitely gonna leave this one here because we've been playing from for quite some time now. But I definitely gonna say that I really like this game. This game is... Oh, okay. This game is pretty, pretty well done. I wonder if it's saved. Okay, it's saved perfectly. So, let me uh, go back. So yeah, that was a pretty enjoyable experience, I gotta say. Really, really like this game. And, well, I mean, uh, there is still more, so we're gonna see what else there is. Uh, and speaking of stuff speaking of toho sound effects we got some toho oh no this toho oh shit all right well if you want to see some toho i'm gonna give you some toho so thanks everyone a lot for watching and i'm gonna be seeing you on the next stream with uh, more i wanna reach the moon so take care everyone and have a good one